Another mobile phone rang at the east wing of the Simon Total, south wing at the west wing. Engineer Sahib Tain, Comrade Gombile Melusi, and lastly, Pastor Chine Ketchamaka answered it. The ID caller on the other hand identified himself as the guy. It was around 9 o'clock in the evening. Now, Dr. Afolami had someone call him from behind. He stopped and turned. There she was. She was beautiful. He stopped and turned and noticed that no one else was looking behind, but that was obvious. She mentioned his name. Dr. Afolami. Dr. Afolami. Who is this? Is she someone that I may ought to know? But of course not, we have not met someone. Mm -hmm. But there is no one around here. Yes. 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 May I please have one here? With me? Are yes. you sure? I am very sure. Which means you will not follow me. Mm -hmm. This way, please. Yes. So, sit here. Yes. <laughs> one minute is all I'll take. Well, Maybe I'll take more, but five at the most. Uh, one minute, five minutes, what's the difference? <laughs> Dr. Fulabi, yes. my name is Fiona, Fiona Mackenzie. Mm. First, let me thank you for agreeing to sit for this interview. And you see, whenever I say my name is Mackenzie, mm. people look at me quizzically, silently demanding an explanation. And the explanation is Mackenzie is what? I was adopted by Ian and Elspeth Mackenzie, Scottish missionaries. They are back in Edinburgh mm. now, but were in Van then. They took me in when I was less than a year old. You see, my natural parents are gambit, but I will never get to see them. They are dead. Oh, what am I doing? Dictating my autobiography. Let's talk business now, shall we? Mind if I start recording? Oh, you are a reporter? Uh, yes, for the Gambia News. Oh, I see. Now, how may I help you, Miss Mokens? I'd like to ask a few questions, if I may. Of course you may. In fact, why don't I start you off? Eh? You see, my name is Dr. Abiola Afolabi. But you can call me with my first name, Abiola, which you already seem to know. Take it from there. I will. Yes. You studied at Harvard University in the USA, and now you teach at the University of Ibadan in Nigeria. Yes. I got that from the cover of your book, oh. Failure of State. You see, when I heard that you were here at the Simon Hotel, I decided to come and see you, so here I am. This is all so funny. <laughs> funny? Yes. Yes. I expected to see an academic scarecrow dressed in jeans. But instead, I see a well-dressed man who might as well be a business person. <laughs> you see, eh? I'm sorry I disappointed you, Miss Mukenzi. Uh, 40. What? Your age. No, 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 no. 45. 45. Ah, to my 35, imagine that. Mm. Dr. Molabi, yes. go and have your picture taken right now. You won't always <clears throat> look this good. Now, Miss Mukenzi, was there something specific that you wanted us to talk about? I was beginning to remember on Rosen time. Well, yes. back to business. Mm. So, Africa's heads of state will soon start a debate at the Pinnacle Hotel, two streets from here. And I'll be covering the debate for the Gambian News. And you are one of the advisors to the heads of state during the summit. Now, Dr. Falabi, yes. I'd like to ask you a few questions. What will be the scope of their debate and what will they discuss? You see, they'll be discussing a document to Wayne Omega. You see, not so long ago, 20 Nobel laureates discovered a way to develop the whole of Africa and they published their discoveries in a document with that name. And right now, the Africa's heads of states are seated in Banjo to develop it as a strategic way to develop the whole of Africa. Now that's the background, Ms. Mackenzie. Or did you want the actual content? What are your expectations of the summit structure? Ah, ah. Now what are my expectations? Please don't get me started. Don't get me started. You see, eh? I expect the summit to be a historic one. You see, way Omega will change African politics dramatically. Hmm? Just imagine, no military coups, no rigged elections, no first place, period. Dr. Falabi, yes. not all the heads of state gathered here are fair players. Hmm. Some are out and out fault players who rose to power through military coups hmm. or rigged elections. I expect those won't be dancing along the way of way Omega anytime soon, will they? Uh, Miss Mackenzie, change is always like that, Miss Mackenzie. Yeah? You see, one side has got the defenders of the existing arrangements, while the other side has got the challengers of the existing of the same same existing arrangements. And you see, this side of the defenders of the existing arrangements, this was very sure they will fight men and took to retain their past efforts. And the same side of the challengers of the same same existing arrangements. These are not so sure. If their old arrangements are replaced with new arrangements, they will not fight so hard to retain it, Ms. Mackenzie. 
Uh-huh. Oh, you are not listening to me, Miss Mackenzie. <coughs> anyway, what I was saying is this: hmm? Way Omega will put Africa into its new present, far from what defeated its past effort. Just imagine: no military coups, no rigged elections, no false plays. No. Now, what am I saying? Hmm? Now, who is beginning to ramble? And I told you not to get me started. Remember? Yes, I remember. Hmm. And yet we have your book, mm-hmm. Failure of State. Yes, yes. Now, Dr. Fulab, can yes. I ask you something? Please. What makes you optimistic about Africa's future now, when in that book you were pessimistic? No. Is it the content of Way Omega or the prestige of its authors? Now, let me ask you a question. Did you just say that my book was a pessimistic? Yes, I did. Now, was a pessimistic really a word that you heard in? Dr. Fulab, yes. let me try again. What makes you optimistic now, when you were pessimistic then? You see, I heard you the first time, Ms. Mokenzi. Then answer my question. Hmm? You see, I had misjudged you. I thought you were a proper good morning journalist. But I see one of those by your who keeps on uh, confusing journalism with good manners. But we just met. Tell me, what did I do that just uh, provoked you? Dr. Polam, yes. you haven't answered my question. Hmm. I heard you the first time, Ms. Mokenzi. You see, eh? you see, eh, that book, eh, that book means... Now, what do I do? What do I have to tell you about my book? You see, the Africa's head of states called me here. They wanted me to assure them how my book, how my book uh, fits to in the way Omega. Now, what do you know about books, Eddie? Should I have to defend my book before anyone? In fact, before a third rate reporter from the Zambian News. Zambia. Whatever. Dr. Falabi, yes. can, you think through, uh, can you think through your book yes. and give me an example, a specific example, in which your mega agrees with it? Yes, I can. You see, uh, that word means that, eh? Now, yes. No, sorry. Just excuse me. Hello, sir. Yes, yes. I'll be right there. Thank you. Um, Dr. Fulabi, yes. I have to go. Silly boss wants me back at the office. Now, uh, because I have no time left, what was the specific example you were about to give? Just in, in just one word. <laughs> Let me try to see if I can understand you, Miss Mokenzi. Hmm? Uh, you says a man that claims to be a boss calls you. So I should, uh, I should put my book into a word. Is that what you mean? You know, bosses, they don't like to be kept waiting. Now, listen. I really must go, Dr. Fulabi. Uh, I could come back some other time. What do you think? You see, what I think is this, eh? Go and read my book, not just its cover. But the Bible is against it. Saying my book is a pessimistic. Who are you? What do you know about books? Pessimistic. <laughs>